In our previous episode, we looked at how a university student encountered usability issues with her school's new website. Well, I was just trying to find my DAL email. That's all I wanted to find. The wrong terminology had prevented this user from finding her new email inbox, and she ended up getting lost. This is the Office 365 homepage. Now I have to figure out how to get back to the DAL one. Hmm. Naturally enough, the user's expectations of the new website were based on her needs. But what she found didn't match her expectations, so she had difficulty getting those needs met. When I first was told about Office 365, I still assumed that all there would really be to it would be Dow email. And not things such as Find a Service or Dow Communities or SkyDrive or Pictures of the Day or Quick Link. So, for example, her priorities for the site layout were clearly related to her task objectives of finding her email. But, like, this here with the email on the far right, like, I think that's pretty important information, especially if you're not used to this new layout. And it's the last thing you see on the page. Um, so I would personally rather see that over here, maybe even in bigger print. What she saw on the page were many distractions. I, I don't like how they've put in um, just random things like announcements and down news and events on campus on the main area of the page. Because for something like a personal account, that's not really stuff that I want to be seen right away. So even though the web page is presented to her as a personalized home page, the extra chunks of content, such as news and events, aren't particularly interesting to her. So what is it about those sections that don't resonate with this user? On a home page for a program that's supposed to have my personal information, um, I don't really want to see things such as uh, a link to info on the Tigers volleyball camp. The events on campus box is purely by date. So you could like, there's something about campus tours here. That's something important for possible incoming students. However, it's sort of mixed in with homecoming, engineering, Dean's Coffee Club, and installation, international panel discussion, the future of universities. Like, there's a lot of different stuff here that they've just kind of stuck together. It really does feel like filler because of that and because everything blends together. The user is consistently focused on her main task objective, that is getting her school-related email. Um, I recently got an email about a quiz and what I need to know on that quiz. And I'd like to access that information as easily and as quickly as possible instead of having to navigate through a bunch of bonus stuff that isn't really that important to me. Now, it so happens that this user came across another university website that did seem to completely match her expectations. It uses a subdomain to identify the student-oriented focus. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is similar, or base, the basic equivalent to um, my DAO, although it is my NASCAD. Um, they instantly um, appeal to possible or incoming students who have not made a NASCAD account. So they give very clear, simple instructions about how you get started with that. It isn't just bombarding you with a bunch of um, info uh, as soon as you enter the site. So you can sort of select, you can be selective about everything, which is really great. So they just tell you that, first of all, if you want to apply to NASCAD, then first you need to make an account. Um, and then you can create your own profile. And then, of course, they have my mailbox. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it just says here you will find every piece of communication that you've had with NASCAD admissions. Um, I like how they're very aware of, of what this is being used for. Um, especially in relation to new students. Clearly, our user wanted to see only the things that pertain to her task objectives as a student. This is her primary role. But her university website presented her with non-focused content that relates to many other roles. This mixing of roles presents the user with extra work in order to understand how to navigate through the site, 
It's like having multiple entrances in a building, most of which don't lead to the right rooms. When she encountered a site with focus content, her ability to relate to it and to navigate around the site shot up tremendously. So what can we take away from this user's story? First, we have to recognize that the user belongs to a particular target user group. She's a student. Second, we need to think about what her task objectives are as she carries out the student role. Third, we can use this understanding of task objectives to provide a basis for the focus content that matches her needs. Finally, we can use mechanisms such as subdomains or login states to help identify the user's role so the site comes up with the right content and components automatically.